Hello every pony, Jaffa Archfiend here, and this is how to get your second weapon. Okay, first of all, uh, let's assume that you go for something like, for the, for the purposes of this, let's go with the pistols, right? Uh, first of all, I'd like to apologize for the blurriness of this. I'm not entirely sure what was going on um, with wraps, but all in all, anyway. So pick up the weapon, blah blah blah. Pick up the stuff. Go to inventory. Click on the stuff here. Oh, sometimes. Don't know what's happened there. Might have just been a slight bug when I had the inventory already open, trying to pick stuff up. Right. Equip all your weapons. Do the usual. Do the whole quest thing where you test out your first two abilities. So for pistol, it'd be single fire thing. Build up the resources in there and shoot. Now, this is the part where you all seem to kind of miss out on. You all do this. You skip the video. There's a video that explains how to do all this in the game itself. Now, do not spend a point, first of all. Do not spend any of your points yet in, this, in the skill or the ability wheel. Alright. Now then. You've got, so you've got your first weapon, so let's see what, you've got the whole decks, which you can go for, which are sort of like the classes, if you want to go that way. So since we've got pistol, we've got a whole bunch of stuff going around here. you got your primary weapon, secondary weapon, you have your outfit you can grab for each thing, so you just go through each of them. So you've got like the assassin, who's got that, you've got the monk. Now, note first of all, each faction has different classes. No faction has the exact same classes. Okay? Now, here you have, like, what each one does. Like, this one has, like, healing and stuff. And that one is a DPS. Blah, 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 blah. You get the idea. Alright. Now. Well, if you go for decks, you can just see where your points would go for each, each particular deck. Right, along the wheels, you got your range, you got your melee, you got your magic. Now, do not spend any points just yet. All right. Now for some magic. Hello. Now then, you've just killed the whole road of zombies. We've done the whole thing for Boone. We've arrived in Kingston, done the whole thing for Boone, and now here's your first instance of being able to grab your second weapon. Send report. Yeah, occasionally it'll bug up a little in terms of not showing what each thing does. Let's wait a second here whilst we wait for it. Hum de dum de dum de dum. There we are. Now we have each of the w different weapons. Now, you have your like uh, chaos focus. You, have your, you also have upgrades for your kind of weapons, like, like your pistols. Let's close that up for now, go into decks. Because some of you will probably want to go with a deck straight away type thing, go for class. So since we've got pistols, let's take a look through chaos. Let's get take a look through the dragons to see what we've got for pistols. We have the assassin blokes. And doesn't look like any other bunch of people uses a pistol. So if you want to go with a pistol and for a dragon and you want to go with deck, you've probably got you've only got the one thing, the assassin who uses blood magic. Which isn't too bad, so let's go, let's, for, for the purpose of this, let's go with the blood magic. Now, comes the spending points point. See here? See that little thing there? You can't use it until you get the first skill point in blood magic. Alright. And I've gone to the wrong bit. Let's go to character skill points. See, this is where you need to grab points from. Because without these points, you can't equip anything. So let's stick a point, let's take a look, see, uh, healing, damage, let's go with a blood damage point. There you go. You now have skill one in blood. Now, in order to equip any other weapons after that, you also still need the same in the other weapons as well. So let's go with damage and pistol here. Now then, go to the ability wheel, because you don't instantly get an ability when you grab your second thing. Even if you spend skill points, you don't immediately get a spell or anything. So, let's grab ourselves some blood abilities. So, let's grab ourselves boiling blood. Uh, let's go from stuff from the healing thing. We've got unholy knowledge. That's some increases some damage over time passive. And blood shield, which is a bit of a heal. So, let's grab ourselves a heal. 
And to round it off, let's grab ourselves this AOE here from the pistols. Trust me on this one, AOE, as you'll probably have realized by the time you've gone through the zombies, can be quite helpful. So a nice little AOE ability. All right. Now we can equip the blood stuff. Now, don't worry if you've gone straight with an upgrade. Now you can immediately start casting abilities and changing immediately to the weapons. Awesome. As you're doing the whole thing. Okay? Now don't panic. Alright? If you didn't immediately... If you went for a straight up upgrade first of all, don't panic. There is another chance for you to get a second weapon. Alright? You just need to go out of the compound and up to these guys here in the white suits. These are a faction known as the Council of Vents. They are all over the place. Alright, now that the the zombie can stop killing me. They will also help kill off anything that gets anywhere near you. You can see that's the Apothecary, that's the Council of Vents envoy. Ah, here we are, the Arms Dealer. He has for you talons for Pax. Eh. He has some stuff for you for Pax Romana, your in game currency. Usable items, purchasable items, basically stuff you can afford, and scroll down, and there you are, you have your weapons, you have your pistols, hammers, blah 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 blah. So, that is how you can get your second weapon. But remember, now, here comes the fun part, for upgrades. In order to use any of the upgrades, you will need to have a point in that thing. So, if we go to the skill points, Ideally, what you want to do is spend, after your first points in each of your second weapons, you want to spend a point in here. That way you can then actually equip your upgraded items. So basically, your general idea is to stick up one point into each of the weapons, and then stick your next three points into your talismans. That way you can get your nice shiny upgrades and not get killed. Alright, hopefully that's helped you out, guys. I'm Jaffa Archfiend, and this is my... Oh, a bit too closer. <laughs> I'm Jaffa Archfiend, and this has been Secret World How to Get Weapons. Please pay attention, or you will die. Goodbye.